For this lesson, we'll be focusing on recording. I've got an electric guitar that's plugged straight into my instrument input of the 002 rack, and we'll go through the process of setting up a track, um, making, making sure that inputs are properly set, um, and doing other things that will help to ease workflow and get you started quickly in recording. So I've got a Pro Tools session open, but with no tracks. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got an input set up for my guitar. So I'll go to Setup, In-Out. Now looking at the In-Out setup, I want to click the Input tab. And I'm using Analog Input 4. And here we see In 3 and 4 is labeled as such. And I'll click this triangle downward. And my input is actually 4, and I do have a subgroup for it. But I'm going to go ahead and rename this guitar. And this will be reflected on the in and out in the mixer window. Okay, now let's create a new track, Shift Apple N. And one new mono audio track in samples, create. Double click the track name, call it guitar. Command equals to check the input. We'll set the input to the track to guitar. This is uh, where we rename the input with the in and out. If you've got a right mouse button, you can right mouse click and any of these boxes and rename. I don't have one, I'm using a single button mouse here. Okay, so now we want to hear the guitar coming into the track and I've got no amplifier in the room because I'm recording these tutorials, but if I strum loud enough, you can hear my electric guitar through the, um, the mic that's capturing my vocals now. But to hear it going into Pro Tools, we need to do the following. Record enable the track, and then make sure on the Digi002 that the instrument button is selected so that way we're not choosing the mic input but we're choosing the instrument input. And then we want to adjust the gain so that we get a good level from the guitar. So I'll start strumming and you see now the VU meter is reflecting some signal being brought into Pro Tools. So I'll adjust the gain upwards. and now you hear it coming into the headphones. One thing before we do start, I've already set this ahead of time. Since I am going to be tracking, I've gone to Setup, Playback Engine. I've set my hardware buffer size to 128 samples. If I set it really high, let's say 1024, there's going to be a noticeable latency from when I play to when I hear it in Pro Tools. So here I have it at 1024. And you can probably hear the sound of the electric guitar, unamplified and then amplified. And there's a considerable amount of latency there. So we'll go ahead and set up playback engine. And we'll go back to 128 samples. OK, now one thing you might want to check is track and then the monitoring mode. I've got it on input monitor monitoring so that way I can hear the monitor all the time and you want to be careful here because if you're recording in the same room that you've got um, live monitors and not headphones you can create a situation where feedback will occur so be very careful when you're setting the monitoring but you can switch between monitoring modes by going to track and then toggling input monitoring okay so I've got my signal And now to start recording, I place the playhead somewhere and I'll hit record and play. Now, I like to start recording in a Pro Tools session a little after bar one. So I'll start at bar four. And I'm going to create a memory location and call this intro. So now that I'm at bar four, I'll record enable. And I'm not using a click right now. Right now I just want to get into basic recording. And in another movie we'll talk about recording with a click. And so here we go. I'm recording with no click or no drum track. Just free guitar.
Okay, so there's my guitar part. And as I zoom out, I see the waveform drawn for the guitar part. Nice, he nice healthy looking waveform. And if I go to listen to it, it won't play back because I'm in record enable. So I need to take off record enable and then take a listen. So to summarize the basic steps to start recording, step one, check to make sure you've got your input set up by using setup in and out. Rename the inputs for convenience. Step two, create a new track. Make sure you choose mono or, mono or audio depending on your source. Step three, actually this is a really important step, rename the track because Pro Tools will automatically name the track according to the track name. So step four, define the input to the track using the mix window. Step five, record enable the track. Step six, check your track monitoring and define your levels. Since I'm using the same put that I did on the first track, everything's fine. And you can check the input monitoring using track and then auto input monitoring or input only. Then record enable the transport and when you're ready, press play. Oh, and one more step. Make sure the playhead is set where you want to record. And so now I'll play against the track I just wrote. That's it to basic recording, and in some future movies we're going to talk about the flexible um, nature of Pro Tools in setting up a click track and doing pre-roll, post-roll, and really taking advantage of the power of Pro Tools recording features.